In this session we're going to talk about the web API. As you may know, we have the .NET API today, which is focused on .NET developers. And we want to keep focusing on developers, but also giving our more advanced users alternative ways to extract information from Visual Chrome. So we de developed the web API, which is a programming interface to extract information easily. And there are two ways to interact with the uh, Visucron through the web API. You can either use the web service that Visucron provides to extract information, or you can use the REST service uh, to make HTTP calls to extract information. And a good starting base for this is to look at the documentation that we have. And if you open that, you will see uh, this window here, and these are the settings for the web API you need to check allow web ap API and you need to set which ports to use if you don't want to use the default ports you need to click apply settings for the web API to be started and in this window you will see that we have two different ports one for that is encrypted and one that is not encrypted and you will see the default URLs for accessing the web API. So I will first show you how you can access the web API. A good starting base is to call the first uh, REST uh, method that we have for the web API, which is the documentation. And the documentation will show you the available methods uh, that exists right now and you will see that we have a method called logon it requires uh, two parameters username and, and password you will see what kind of information it returns and uh, you will see three different URLs here and the reason for that is that we provide the result in three different output formats you have the txt format you have the XML format and the JSON format. The TXT format is the one we're going to test here because it will make things uh, more easy to read and you will have uh, some more features related to the TXT calls. So, as a base, something to start with, uh, I will show you how the URL is built. First, uh, you have the, the local host part, uh, which could be remote if you try to co connect remotely. You have the port. You have Visual Chrome, which is just saying that um, to clarify that you're connected to the to a Visual Chrome service. Then you have the format, and uh, you can select to use uh, TXT, XML, or JSON here and we will try the txt here and then you have the type of object you want to return and in this case it's uh, the job this is not context sensitive even though I write in uppercase letters here so you can use job and then you select the method that you want to use and this is the same name for each method that exists and what kind of information can be extracted here? You can extract all jobs and tasks. You can activate and deactivate uh, a server. You can e extract all information regarding uh, global objects like notifications, conditions, connections, uh, certificates, etc. And if you just try to call this here, call this method, you will see that you get a permission right we're using the default authentication methods of Visual Chrome. So you need to connect with a user that exists in, in the managed permissions. And there are two ways to authenticate uh, against this web API. One is directly, and that means that you uh, use the username, and in this case I'm having a blank uh, password, so yeah, I'm just using the username here. The other way is through uh, using a token and 
the reason for that is that you have to log on once then you can use token for each uh, each connection and to retrieve a token you need to call the logon uh, method and um, the logon method is here and then I supply the username here and I will see result which is ok and the token if I only want to include the token I can first remove the headers like this and uh, then I can say that I only want the token column and this works for all methods that you call with the txt uh, output method if you use xml or json you will get the whole object in return and you have to parse it your own way so in this case uh, is called a token and you will see in the documentation if you look here that uh, you have two fields result and token and you can choose to include uh, one or both uh, so if I want to include the result I just add it as column here and this token can then be used in, in further calls so if I want to make a list of all jobs I can use the token here and sorry it should just be job here and uh, as we mentioned before uh, you can achieve the same by supplying the username here and it, if I want to limit the columns I can do like this and the same way exclude headers like this and you access it the same way for all kind of uh, methods for kind of objects so it's very transparent here and there are some uh, properties that are not interesting if you want to retrieve uh, the result in another way for example if I want to uh, retrieve it in XML uh, I will get it like this I will get all kind of properties and if I want to receive it in the JSON format I do it like this and uh, well it's harder to read here but you will see that it, it's in X JSON format and this is the REST API and uh, another interesting way uh, uh, method that you can uh, call here is to retrieve the logs and uh, we have four different kind of logs we have the general log, we have the job log, we have the task log and the audit log and all information can be retrieved if you want to extract this information and maybe parse it and post it in an uh, external server so for example uh, we have uh, I have a sample URL here and uh, I need to update this to work let's see login row so I'm missing the token here so I include uh, yeah I use this URL but I replace the token with with username now uh, I have very limited dates so I will include I'll select it to show only job ID but uh, let me see what kind of uh, columns exist here we have the general log we go down to um, scroll down to logs uh, log task general so we have Yes, we have a um, history class and it's not documented here, but uh, if we remove the columns, we will get all available columns. 
and we can then add them here and yeah we had a date event and message we want to include just separate these by a comma so this way you can extract information and it's also possible to control the text qualifier for each field and what kind of uh, new line uh, we use uh, and and separator for each field so you can format the result I in any way you like to match your parser so this is the rest uh, service that we're using right now and if you want to use the the soap service you can open the the test client that is included in the API folder installation. You have the web service tab and you can click on the example here and scroll down. And you will see that it takes very few lines to create and call uh, the Visuchrome web API SOAP service and extract information. So we hope you like this and that this will get you started and we are awaiting your feedback we have added uh, the default methods for extracting information if you're missing something let us know and uh, maybe we can just add it quickly for you thank you for listening